the floor here from Paris, France. And we are just about set to go here in Las Vegas. Lon McCarron along with Mike Sawyer. And from what we know about these two guys, Mike, a pretty good matchup. Well, they're both very experienced. Uh, Kung Napa, whose name, by the way, means King of the Sky in Thai, is here from Bangkok uh, through Milwaukee. He's training now up at the uh, at the Rufus Gym, uh, Pet Noy Gym, and he's uh, determined to make his mark on the American market the way he did in Thailand. The floor, more used to the European style. We'll see how he handles the strict Thai type of of uh, kicking and punching style of uh, Kung Na Pa. Well, right off the bat, you know, the Kung Na Pa has, uh, if he's not adopted an American style of Muay Thai, certainly the, uh, the clothing. He is the one with the red, white, and blue flag trunks. As LeFleur starts to pepper away with the kicks, but you saw the power from Kung Na Pa with that left roundhouse. The traditional start for Thai fighters in Muay Thai fighting is a slower pace in the first couple of rounds and escalating to a feverish fifth round. But as we've seen Muay Thai get more and more popular in the United States, the all out for five round style really started to creep out. Good right hand, LaFleur is in oh. trouble right off the bat. Oh, and there he's down. Tremendous left roundhouse kick puts LaFleur down. Culminating blow of a four-fight combination. Who would think that a punch from a Thai fighter would be the one to dim the lights on LaFleur? Well, the punches started it. The kicks, uh, I won't say finished it, because LaFleur is still in there battling away. Definitely he, in trouble, though. He's in big trouble. He just took another right hand to the jaw, another left roundhouse kick. I don't know how much longer he can stay on his feet. Plenty of round left, and he's out. He is done. Kong Napa with a huge right hand twice in this first round. Spells disaster for Pascal Lafleur, and it's a knockout win for the TIE fighter. Well, you were right, Lon. He's adopted the American style. Duke Rufus up in Milwaukee has been fine fighter in his own right, has been working hard with Kong Napa and his hand combinations. The right hand took him out for the count. The left leg roundhouse kick just added to the pain of, of LaFleur. LaFleur right now getting the rundown of what exactly happened. I don't know if he remembers that last combination at all. I think he was just about out on his feet after the, the first knockdown. I agree. We had a great look at his eyes as he went down, and they were vacant, and they certainly were not focused on what was happening to him. The first knockdown, again, over there toe-to-toe -to -toe and was a right hand. Well, he's got his Not arms lucky. very wide uh, in, the, in the traditional tie style. I don't know why he's turning his back there. Fighters don't stop just because you turn your back. The left roundhouse kick caught him right on the point of the chin, put him down. Now, this is, the, uh, this is again, the first knockdown. The left hand on the jaw didn't even see the roundhouse kick coming to the ribs. He must have seen that roundhouse kick but just couldn't get his head out of the way perfectly placed and you can see the thousand yard stare in his eyes well he looked like he might have been in trouble right at that point because he had no defenses for that first kick and right then as you said you do not turn your back on your opponent particularly someone like Kong Napa now let's move on to the knockout this is a knockout the floor gamely trying to keep his hands up but you can see his eyes are are still glazed over as soon as his as his uh, right hand gets a little low, here comes the roundhouse kick. Just deadly accuracy on the part of Kong Napa, trying to set up either the left leg roundhouse kick or the big right hand. Look how controlled Kong Napa looks, waiting for that opening, and then it finally happens when the floor opens himself up. Beautifully placed right hook, came over the left hand. That's all she wrote for Pascal LaFleur. Here's another angle of the same knockout. Well, certainly LaFleur found himself in trouble from the early get-go, and it was going to be a miracle if he could get himself out of that first round, and unfortunately for the French fighter, he could not, as Kong Napa comes out quickly and opens up with a first-round knockout of Pascal LaFleur. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 40 seconds in round number one. A referee, Chuck Simonini, Chuck Simonini stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, Kung Napa Petnoichu.